Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back Tech Beans and this is the Cherry Mobile Flare S7 Plus. Now to give you a quick background on Cherry Mobile. Cherry Mobile was once one of the most popular smartphone brands that provided budget meal smartphones here in the Philippines. But now we've got other brands such as Oppo, Vivo, especially now with Xiaomi in the picture. It's not anymore the go-to budget meal smartphone brand in the market today. But then they put this out. Now when I checked the specs on this online, it was pretty good for the price. It's 12,000 pesos, has a Helio P60 processor, four gigs of RAM, a very nice screen, four cameras. It even has wireless charging. Oh my God, that is a first in any mid-range phone. Only here at Cherry Mobile. Is this going to change the game for Cherry Mobile? We'll have to find out. But before we start guys, for those who don't know yet, I am having the Pokephone F1 giveaway and I am announcing the winner right after this video. And all you need to do to join is subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content. Also guys, please check out the descriptions below for more information about the mechanics on my Pokephone giveaway. And without further ado, let the unboxing begin! Okay, here we go. Before we unbox it, let me just show you the box right here. This is the fanciest box I have ever seen from a smartphone brand. Look at that. We've got here the smartphone at the front. Brilliance in you. There's some here. And then at the back, you see all of the specs right here. It's got all these nice features right here, which I will cover in a bit. And I got here the black color. I'm not sure if there are other colors as well. Now it's time to open it up. Let me just push this button right here. Okay, it works. Cool. No, I'm just kidding. It's not a button. And here's the box. It's time to unveil the Flare S7 Plus. This is actually quite a big box. Oh, look at that. It's upside down. And we have here the notch at the top. No, I'm just kidding, that's not a notch. Here's the phone. And we have here the specs at the front. Now I'm just gonna set this aside for now. Let us check what else is in the box. Nice. Oh, look at that. And we have here a box within the box. Oh. See that? It's fully loaded. <laughs> so let me just check this small box right here. We have here, oh, it's just a promotional paper for their apps. Yeah, okay. We've got here the quick user guide. Pretty straightforward. And some silicon gel. Crazy. And uh, we've got here a, ooh, look at that. We have some tempered glass included with the box. This is just incredible. It's very generous of Cherry Mobile to include a tempered glass. Not only the tempered glass, but also everything that you need to set up the tempered glass on the smartphone. Cool. And finally, we have here the gel case for the phone. <laughs> Look at that, that looks really cool. Got here a nice compartment for the cable. Look at that, USB Type-C for only 12,000 pesos. And I'm just gonna grab, whoa, that looks so small. It's a five volts, 2000 milliamp here charger. Let's just hope it has fast charging. Okay, here we have the earphones. And we have here the earphones with a standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And what is this? Oh, it's a dongle. A USB Type-C to 3.5 millimeter dongle, which means the Flare S7 Plus does not have a headphone jack. Well, that's a first in a budget phone. Like why? And finally we have here the SIM jacker pin, nice and shiny. And that's pretty much it for the box. It's time to peel the phone. Here we go. Okay, that is not transparent, that is black. And there's another sticker at the back. Let me just peel that off as well. And here's the phone. Look at that back. That is made of glass. It is very elegant. Actually, it just looks like the Xiaomi Mi 8 at the back. But the thing is, the Xiaomi Mi 8 does not have wireless charging. And we've got glass all over the phone. We've got it all at the back and at the sides as well. It is a fingerprint magnet because of that glass back. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna show you the rest of the phone here. We got the vertical dual cameras right here and the LED flash, the fingerprint scanner. We've got two speaker grills and one USB Type-C port right there. We've got all the buttons at the right side, the volume rockers and the power button. And we have the SIM tray at the left side. Now let me just show you the SIM tray right here. That is the biggest SIM tray I have ever seen on phone. Like what is this? Here's one dedicated SIM card slot and one hybrid one. So you can change to a SD card or a SIM card. And now it's time to open the phone. Let us see what this thing looks like. Powered by Android. Android 8.1 Aria. What the hell? Cherry Mobile. Oh my God. When I hear that sound, it sounds so cheap. Like way back then. If you're in the Philippines and you hear that sound, people will think that you're poor. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
Wait, was that too much? But that's the truth, come on. Well, let's just see if that's the same case here. This does feel, look and feel like a premium phone. It does look very similar to the Xiaomi Mi 8. The wide notch at the top, the bezels at the bottom, you glass back. So right here, we have a custom UI. It's running on Android 8.1 Oreo. And so far for me, it's pretty simple. It's like stock Android experience. Although you do get some Cherry mobile apps here and there. It's pretty simple if you're coming from an Oppo or a Xiaomi product, this is pretty much the same thing, but just with the Cherry mobile sound. So my phone is fully drained to zero. I am gonna put the phone on top of the charging pad, the wireless charging pad, and it should wireless charge. Oh, there you go. It is charging, whoa. And we've got 18% at 30 minutes. That's pretty much it. It's not fast. You know what I like about the charger? It's pretty small. It's very portable. Let's begin our fast charging test. I hope it's still okay. I've drained it twice in one video. That's the first. Here's 15 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour at 54%. And we're actually at one hour and 30 minutes, one hour and 33 minutes. It's already 80%. It is taking its time on charging. Uh, it's only 3000 milliampers of battery. I'm not sure why it's taking so long. Well, that's just my take. This will charge up maybe in two hours, I guess. And in two hours and 20 minutes, it charged up to 100%. Is it good? It's not good. It's very slow. So yes, the charging sucks, but hey, you got a very nice sleek charging adapter right here. So that's something. All right, I have PUBG right here. HD graphics, high frame rates, realistic, and some of these guys below. Now playing PUBG here is very nice. I guess they intended this phone for gaming. Look at that, the gaming performance right here on PUBG is very good. The Helio P60 processor has gone a long way, especially in PUBG. Well, I'm actually much more blown away by the screen. The screen is actually way better than the usual IPS display. and it's Now, I don't know what that means, but the colors are much more vibrant. I guess the viewing angles as well is much better. I guess it's not super AMOLED level, just the usual IPS. And we're already at 1R. Let me check. Let us check the battery. It's 76%. It is very average. Now let's go immediately to the photos and videos. Just went ahead and compared this to Redmi Note 5, which is similarly priced. The pictures on the Flare S7 Plus is pretty average. They look soft and dry. Very uninspired if you ask me. The dynamic range is also pretty average. Not even good enough to beat the Redmi Note 5. Low light performance is also subpar. You won't see that much noise, but the images just look super soft and murky at night. And here's a video test at the back, 1080p, 30 frames per second. Look at that. Hmm, I can easily discern that the Redmi Note 5 does look much better in terms of image quality. Hmm, now it doesn't look like the Flare S7 Plus has image stabilization. It's kind of shaky right here. Now at night, the Redmi Note 5 still looks better, except the lens flaring, it's just really bad. The Flare S7 Plus has that nice balancing and lighting. It doesn't have those blown up parts like what you see on the Redmi Note 5. But yeah, the image quality you get here is the same as the still images. They're pretty average. And that's pretty much it for this unboxing and quick review on the Cherry Mobile Flare S7 Plus. Now the big question is, does it suck? Well, kinda. For 12,000 pesos, it is cheap, but this is not 2017 anymore. The features here still does not beat out its other competitors, especially Xiaomi. The phone does look and feel pretty premium though, and it does have that wireless charging, which is kind of great, but really, it's just a gimmick for me. I am all for the gaming capabilities of this phone. I was really impressed when I played PUBG. It was so smooth and beautiful. If you were looking for a phone that could play PUBG at high settings at under 12,000 pesos, this is it. I don't think it was marketed as a gaming phone, but it is where it shines the most. If you can bear the average cameras, the lack of headphone jack, and the pretty small slow charging battery, well yeah, why not? Next up, on Tech Beans, I will be testing out different games on the Cherry Mobile S7 Plus, Ragnarok, Asphalt 9, NBA 2K19, and all that stuff. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss it. This is Vince Dominguez from Tech Beans, and I'll see you on the next video.